Time now to check in with Chris Spears. Chris, you have a little bit more information about that when some uh, historic number or historic information there. It, yeah, an event of that magnitude, we I, I don't know if we have ever seen one in the Rocky Mountains. Those are normally back east, but that storm started in southeast Utah, crossed the entire state of Colorado, including the Continental Divide. It ended late yesterday in the eastern Dakotas. Quite an amazing event. I want to start off with crystal ball real quick and show you the radar. Uh, very wet this morning from New Orleans to Tampa. The storm is 70 miles south of Grand Isle, Louisiana. It will be pushing inland over the next 12 hours or so and a very wet time expected along the Gulf Coast. Here at home, we're starting in the 40s in the high country, 50s out west, 50s and 60s east, with some 70s already in our extreme eastern counties. You are on your way to the upper 90s again. Jonathan Greenspan in Telluride's Mountain Village, 48 degrees, 60 in South Parker from our weather watcher Irv Crump. Good morning, weather watchers. Some high wind alerts today. The tan on the left, a high wind advisory on the right. The gold, a high wind warning. Gusts could be quite strong through the afternoon today. And with the wind, Combined with the drought conditions and the warm to hot air we have in place, we are worried about fire danger. All areas in red. If a fire were to start today, they, it could spread quite fast. So use extreme caution. That includes the Front Range foothills west of Denver. There is some weather off to our northwest this morning. There may be a few sprinkles and some low clouds grazing our northwestern corner. You could see thunderstorms up there today, but the rest of the state, other than a very stray shower somewhere, we should remain dry with most sunny skies. It's just that northwestern corner that could see a couple of strong to severe thunderstorms today as a weather system approaches and that weather system will eventually bring some showers and storms to the rest of the state Monday into Tuesday. And the other thing you will notice extra much, much cooler air coming our way as we go into Tuesday. I'll show you the five day here in just a second. 60s and 70s today in the high country, 70s and low 80s out west, well into the 90s on the plains, even a few 100s. Denver should top off somewhere around 88 degrees, but I suspect a few of you could briefly pop up to about 90. Here's the five day forecast in Denver. Big cool down starts tomorrow with some showers and storms possible. Jamie, by Tuesday, we may struggle to hit 70. There are a few computer models keeping Denver in the 60s on Tuesday, so we'll have to watch that. But it's a short lived cool down right back to normal as we roll into Wednesday and Thursday. All right. Thank you, Chris.